Hello, so Mayor Jensen, Alan, Roma, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for being with us today. In person or remotely, because we are right now display live on Facebook and other social media. It's such a great milestone for all of us. And as Christian Cochini, our CEO, was not able to travel, he asked me to say a few words in his name. So, Christian. Mayor Jensen, Romain, Anthony, Alan, Shyam, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I regret not being able to be present for this event, major for Helisim Group. But there are some representatives who could take the trip, like Pierre and Emilien, and of course, our managing director. I would like to thank all the people and companies who have been involved since the beginning of this beautiful adventure Airbus Helicopter Inc., Thales, the city of Grand Prairie, the staff of Elysium LLC and Elysium in France, who has always supported this young company. The basic and very first idea, born in 2014, became a reality thanks to the vision, the cohesion and determination of several individuals and entities, some of which are here today. Without this alignment and willingness to move forward together, nothing would have been possible. First, we saw the paper agreements come to reality, then the groundbreaking, the actual creation of a company, the start of operations, and the simulator that were already on site. A brand new Edison building that came out of the ground, and today, this new stage of the H145 full flight simulator is the first of a series of new FFS that will be here in the U.S. to ensure maximum safety for pilots in North America and over various countries. I am proud to say that relationships between all of us are excellent and our partnership is very strong. I am very optimistic that we will strengthen our position as a leader in high-level simulation training in the U.S. LECM is therefore settling down in the international market, starting with the USA, and you, cannot count, and you can count on us to be your partners of choice in the long term and in cooperation with you all. I wish you to enjoy this major event in the history for LECM. Thank you, Christian Cochini. Alan, the floor is yours. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Jean-Charles. Um, my name is Alan Pellegrini. I'm the uh, Chief Executive Officer for TALIS in uh, North America. And I'll tell you a little bit about TALIS's contribution to this, uh, th this great uh, simulator. Uh, with me is Sham Kumar, who's taking my picture at the moment. <laughs> Sham, uh, Sham is our, our, our Vice President and General Manager for TALIS's Aviation Global Services business and Sham's responsible for the Americas, so thanks for joining uh, me, Sham. Uh, look, we're, we're at Talos. We're, we're, th we're thrilled to be here today to uh, celebrate the opening of this training center uh, in Grand Prairie. Thank you so much, uh, Mayor Jensen. We, we appreciate your attendance here, and thanks for welcoming us. Uh, you've been a great host to, to this uh, business. Uh, thanks, uh, Jean-Charles, uh, Roman. We really appreciate uh, uh, being a, a part of this uh, tremendous opportunity, so thank you. Uh, the Helisim Consortium, it's, it's, it's been a great partnership between TALIS and Airbus and DCI. Uh, over the last year, uh, this partnership has really come together uh, to complete the delivery of this, uh, this simulator and, and really looking forward to the, the ribbon cutting uh, in, in a bit. Uh, you know, let me mention, uh, this is not the, the, the first collaboration between Airbus helicopters uh, and, and, and TALIS. Uh, in, in this region. Uh, we've been a partner on, on a significant U.S. Army program, the Lakota Helicopter Program, uh, where uh, our avionics has been part of, of the Airbus helicopter, and we've delivered over 450 uh, platforms, so a very successful program. Uh, let me also add that when it comes to training pilots uh, to fly Airbus platforms, TALIS simulators uh, have been deployed all over the world. Uh, for this mission, both on the military and uh, the civil side. So this is a natural extension uh, of that great uh, collaboration. Uh, we've worked with Airbus helicopters for the last 20 years to support 
pilot training uh, with Helisim out of our southern France, uh, Helisim Southern France facility, which trains, I, I, I've heard, up to 3,000 pilots uh, a year on Airbus helicopters. Um, and, and which, by the way, are market leaders here in, uh, in this region of the world. Um, now, with those same capabilities here in the U.S. that you see behind me, we are able to better reach pilots uh, in North America with an ambition to train up to 1,500 pilots and maintenance personnel each year in, in Grand, pa uh, Grand Prairie. Uh, the H145 platform simulator, it's based on what we call a TALUS Reality H, uh, simulator capability. Uh, it's one of the most sophisticated uh, simulator solutions on the market. Uh, the pilots that we've trained with this simulator have been extremely impressed, primarily with the immersive experience that uh, the simulator, and you'll see that, that it brings, given very large field of view, very high definition projection, and allows us to simulate multiple operational scenarios, including emergency uh, experiences. And, and, and this allows us to facilitate an easy transition for pilots between the platform itself and, and the simulator. Um, the proof of that is also backed by the newest technologies we've applied to the simulator, including very intuitive touchscreen instructor stations, and also our Hexaline motion technology, which uh, enables us to further emulate real life conditions and environment for the pilot's uh, training. Uh, this uh, creates a much more uh, optimum environment and, and system for, for, the, for the crews and makes them better prepared when they get behind the real uh, helicopter. So let me just say in conclusion, uh, this work has been, uh, been great, but it's not been without challenges. We, we've all had to face down the global pandemic and of course it impacted this project uh, as well. For a period of time, we had severe travel restrictions on our technicians that had to help get this thing operational uh, due to COVID, uh, which was understandable. But uh, needless to say, delivering a simulator without the technical experts is pretty difficult. But uh, there's been an excellent uh, collaborative effort between TALIS, between Helisim and uh, and John Charles with, with Roman and, and Airbus and the French Embassy uh, in, in Washington, D.C. and the U.S. Embassy in Paris to help us get special exemptions so we can get our technicians back to help this mission. So we really appreciate that. So today's ribbon cutting ceremony, uh, it's a great reminder uh, of the strengths, uh, the resilience and the commitment of the aviation sector and despite the disruptions and setbacks over the last year i have confidence centers like these will allow us to rebound quickly in this industry so thank you very very much greatly appreciate it good morning everyone my name is uh, roman trapp uh, i'm the president of airbus helicopters in north america and it's so nice uh, to be here and to see this new full flight simulator ready to go. And I can tell you our customers are really anxious uh, and are waiting uh, its arrival and entry to service, uh, which uh, will be planned for next week. Airbus is really proud to the work which uh, has been performed by everyone here today without whom this project would not have been a success. So thank you for Thales uh, to be here today uh, and to Helisim for hosting us uh, in this really brand new building. And thank you, Mayor Jensen, for coming out uh, to support Airbus and our partners and to support us again and again. Grand Prairie has been a wonderful home for Airbus and a wonderful home for Elysium now. As we have grown our local presence and we have, where we contribute actually to the development of North Texas as a nationally, nationally recognized hub for aviation. You know, we started here 50 years ago, 
5-0. And I can say, Grand Prairie is a great place to do business. And Grand Prairie is a great central location for our customers who come from across the country and all of the Americas and beyond. So we already welcome here in Grand Prairie more than 1,500 uh, pilots and mechanics. And actually, this number is going to grow thanks to this simulator, which you can see just behind me. The H145 is already recognized as the most versatile light twin helicopters around the world. You see it flying, actually, all across the Americas and all across the world for emergency medical services, for law enforcement, for military operation, for oil and gas, and for private aviation. And there is actually a very famous uh, customer of ours, uh, which is flying uh, this helicopter just across the world with the Dallas Cowboys. This brand new state-of-the-art H145 simulator allows our customers to experience the highest level of H145 training right there in their own backyard. I can't highlight enough the importance of simulator training for our customers. When you are a pilot, you really have to be prepared for anything and everything. But training on some of the more complicated procedures, or emergency procedures actually, in an actual aircraft, could sometimes be dangerous, and sometimes could cause unnecessary wear and tear to the helicopters. And in a simulator, you can take the time needed to really perfect maneuvers. And in that regard, the simulator training gives pilots that confidence that they know what to do to get out of a tricky situation. I spent actually a, a little bit of time myself in the simulator. And I must say, that's really impressive the quality of the images, and the similarity to the real aircraft. As this simulator come actually with the Airbus helicopter data package and the uh, Alionics avionics suite, I can tell you, it's just like flying the helicopters. We look forward to providing Airbus customers with the best of the best in simulator training, and a pretty good uh, overall experience as well when they come to Grand Prairie for that training. And with that, I'm honored uh, now to leave the floor uh, to Grand Prairie Mayor uh, Juan Jensen. You know, I lived here 50 years ago. I, I, I was 20 years old, and I remember when y'all came. I mean. Come on, let's face it, that was big news around here. Y'all won the HH-75, and it was, you're coming to Grand Prairie, right next to Traders Village. This is real important to me, and here's why. In the 40s, my father-in-law moved here from East Texas to work in the military on planes at Vought. Actually, it was North American back then. Then it became Chance and Vought. And Ling. We have a long tradition of building flying machines here in Grand Prairie. And we were so excited when uh, Eurocopter came here, American Eurocopter, now Airbus helicopters, now Helisim with this. It just fits into who we are. The last note I'll tell you, just recently Texas Trust Credit Union got the naming rights to the theater. Why is that important? Texas Trust Credit Union. Well, they didn't know it out there. I had to give them the history. Texas Trust Credit Union was Vought. Heritage Credit Union years ago during the war. And then the Vietnam War and the Korean War, there's a history there that people need to 
understand and remember because it's what built Grand Prairie. Y'all have been great partners. Love seeing y'all around what you do in our community. Let's do it another 50 years. Welcome Heli Sam. This is fantastic. Thank y'all. We couldn't be more excited. Thank you all for being here. Today is a day of pride. Four years of hard work. $22 million invested in this building and this new simulator. And many, many obstacles to overcome. But we succeeded, we made it. And all that could not have been done without the support of many. First of all, Christian Cochini and Sebastian Delmeyer who is here, who initiated the project four years ago. It was a phone call from the US to France. Then, three CFOs, three CFOs working on the project to make it happen. We were so down by that that they resigned, so. So, Clément Manouri was the first, Jean Maviel the second, and Romain Boutin the third. We have as well Cassiope, which is a, a company who helped us to, to build the project with Fabrice Mario and Antoine Laurent, and myself as a project manager. Then we have all the board members of uh, LSIM, so Anna Brunello, Laurent Vautrin, Patricia Deroux, Frédéric Mangeon, Karine Guimain, Sabrina Barbera, all those board members who approved the project. And my team here, Charles Fress, David Deering, Albert Schwartz, and Simon Duvat, our VIE was flown back to France, but he's still in our heart. And finally, our partner in Airbus, Lindsay Cunningham, Matthew Clark, Gabe Flores, John Cockburn, and Chad Herbert, who supported us so much. They are all part of this success today, and many others I can name. Now we are ready to welcome the FIA tomorrow for the qualification of a simulator. It will be followed by Transport Canada and many other authorities. Then we will be ready next week to welcome pilots from all over the America and even further away. I am often asked about simulation training, and let me add a few words about it. The Stales Reality Hatch Flight Simulator, standing behind me, is the highest standard you can have regarding simulation training. It hosts an Airbus helicopter data package, including all, all the softwares you have in the actual aircraft. Whatever is happening in the sim would happen in the actual aircraft, by the way and it will allow all the pilots to train like you can't train in an actual aircraft. It's much better. You can learn from your mistakes, and it's very important. You can, what we call muscle memory, so that's something you can do real, you can touch it. You know, in an actual aircraft, if I simulate a fire, I will say you, okay, let's imagine this light is coming up, you see it, what would you do? And you will explain to me, oh, well, no, sir, no, please don't touch it. It's an actual aircraft. We don't want to take risk. In the sim, you can do everything. You can touch the, touch the control, move it, so you can remember with your muscle. And you don't, when you are in a stress situation, you don't need to, to think about it. You just do it. That's so important. In addition, we go green. It's always good. We have no complaint around the vicinity for flying over. Nobody complains, call the Mayor Jensen to say, oh, I am done with Airbus helicopter, flying around, flying around, that's much better. And, and so, and we are really increasing flight safety for all of us, which is pretty good. So thank you all for your attendance. I'm so happy to have you all here, and please no ribbon kitting and have a look to the simulator. Thank you very much. <laughs>